welcome everybody to a new weekly vlog. Today is Saturday the 4th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 4th of August. Um, Nick is at work this morning and I had a really nice lie and I finished my book July and like the last week or two of June. Basically, from when I got my wisdom teeth out at the end of June up until like last weekend, I want to say, things were hectic and I definitely wasn't following any type of routine that I normally do, like going to the gym, setting aside time for like reading or watching Netflix or just like chilling out, properly meal planning and everything. Things kind of just fell by the wayside because we were so busy like finishing off the bedroom renovation. My parents were here, we went to Queenstown, then I went to Auckland and it was just like a really hectic time and you can definitely tell that all of my routine things fell by the wayside because I started reading a book I want to say like the last couple days of June and I only finished it on Wednesday morning the 1st of August and then in comparison I started another book on Wednesday the 1st of August as well and I finished it this morning so things are definitely calming down and I'm feeling a lot better about the fact that I'm like back into a routine. In saying that though today is the day that I pick up the bathroom renovation once again so I'm not sure how long this whole routine thing is gonna last but I think this time around because we don't really have any like trips or anything planned at the same time as we're renovating I'm not gonna get any more wisdom teeth out um, I think that it's gonna be a lot easier for me to stick into my routine and I think that I will like try a lot harder to stick to my routine as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna, oh look, there's Sufi. I'm gonna show you what we have done so far and what the plan is today for the bathroom renovation. So last night, Nick and I put this plastic stuff on the floor, which we use in the bedroom. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Yeah, you can see that it's shiny. It's basically like Duracell or like whatever the stuff is that you cover your books with. Um, but it protects the carpet and it means A, if you spill any paint or anything, it doesn't really matter, but also, the dust from like knocking down walls and stuff also doesn't really matter which is good. So it's a bit of an awkward angle but my plan today is to knock out this half of the wall. So to take this little cupboard thing off and then knock this half of the wall out which will then go into the toilet. So our plan is that that's something that we can do is knock out that wall, cover up that doorway which will then just become like part of the bathroom wall. Um, but I can only do half of it because obviously the other half of the wall has a sink on it and we need a plumber and stuff to do all of that. So we're just knocking out half the wall for now. Then this afternoon I'm going to go meet Nick when he finishes work and we're going to go and see if we can buy a few other things for the bathroom. Last night we went to the hardware store and we bought a laundry sink because it was on clearance special and it was the one that we wanted. Um, and then we also bought a new towel rail and like a hand towel hanger thing. So I'll show you them uh, later on because they're up in the garage right now. Uh, but yeah, things are definitely starting to come together and I'm feeling a lot more positive about this renovation actually happening than I was last week. Um, I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to drink my coffee, I'm going to empty that cupboard and then demo can start. Okay, it's just gone 12 o'clock. Look how red my cheeks are. You can tell that I've been working hard. This is what I have been up to. So now this whole section of wall is done. As you can tell, I've still got quite a lot of clean up to do. But I'm pretty proud of that. There were these things like these bars of wood that obviously like makes it sturdy. Um, they were up along here as well once I took off this side of the wall. But I got my saw out and I did a workout and I sawed them all down. Um, this cable though, I don't really know what to do with because this is for a switch that's over there. Um, so we might have to wait for an electrician to come in and help us out with that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of how much I've done. Subi has just discovered that there's a big hole in the wall. She's very curious about what is going on. So it is now three o'clock. Nick ended up working a little bit longer than we thought, but it gave me time to clean up the floor in the bathroom at least, so there's no like plaster or anything around. Um, and I also got to edit a video and have some lunch and watch some YouTube videos. So I'm feeling like it's been a really productive day for the fact that it's only three o'clock. Oh God, that's awkward. There's someone watching me vlog. All right, this is the shower that we've decided on because you can change the settings on it. We are now just trying to decide on tap wear. So far this one is winning. So it's Sunday today, I'm back in the car. Um, this morning I went and had coffee with a few of my workmates and I got to meet my workmate's cat, Eddie, who is adorable. We basically like planned a morning tea purely so we could meet the cat. And I think next time we're gonna do it at my house so that one of my other workmates can meet Subi. Um, but Nick and I just went to Tile Space, not Spawn, and we ordered all of the tiles for our bathroom, which was very exciting. While I was at morning tea, Nick went and got the wood and the pieces he needs to cover up the 
toilet door because uh, of course that will just become the hallway um, and now we're going to go have a look at a few light fixtures and then also just go to a few of the furniture stores and have a look at the various pieces of like decor and stuff that they have as well so things are happening Nick is here too he's just eating some lollies <laughs> So the current lighting situation in the bathroom looks like this. So in here we have two down lights, but then of course because we're making this part of the bathroom as well, this is like a different light. So we were looking at different lights that we could have in the bathroom. Um, we did find them, but I'm pretty sure I've already put them away in the garage, so I'm not going to show you. But basically they're just like other down lights um, that can like cover that whole bathroom. But we also decided that we wanted to change the down lights that were in our bedroom because eventually we're going to replace basically all of the lights in the house because in pretty much every room the lights are different so this one has like what oh, can you see that like a weird lampshade thing in the hallway we have uh like these glass lights except that one over there doesn't have a cover on it because um as we we're moving some diy stuff out we accidentally smashed it and then like in the kitchen we've got these types of lights in the lounge also just to make my point we've got these ones so eventually we're going to cover the whole house in the same down lights just for a little bit of like continuity and so the lighting is like the same in all of the houses i mean on all the rooms so these are what the ones in our bedroom currently looked like and then we're replacing them with ones that look like this so it looks a lot cleaner so we've got two in so far if it's going to focus on those two and then we've just got to fix these two so it is 6.42, we have cleaned up, and I say we, Nick has cleaned up the door frame, and also there's Nick. I took off a little bit more of this wall here, and then we've also just cleaned the floor so it isn't covered in like dust and stuff. Um, plus I have prepped all my smoothie ingredients for my mornings, because otherwise in the morning I like don't get up on enough time or it's just a big faff. So I cut up all my like fruits and veggies and stuff for my smoothies uh, in the weekend, and that's all prepped. I've prepped a slow cooker meal for tomorrow so that's there i'm trying out a thing called a tortilla soup with shredded chicken out of my whole food slow cooked cookbook i'll leave a link to it down below because it's such a good cookbook um i'm also making dinner for tonight and i've made myself a salad for dinner tomorrow so i'm feeling really organized and ready for a new week for a new routine and everything like that right it's monday evening excuse the banging in the background nick is currently fixing up our bathroom which i'll show you in a second but I am currently on FaceTime with my sister. This is Charlie. She has been building our wedding website uh, and we've just been discussing a few details because we get to launch it soon, which is very exciting. So this is what Nick has been doing, which is all the banging. So this is the wall that we are going to put jib on and then this will become just like the main entrance to the bathroom. So he's just working on the frame for it right now and then hopefully we can get the piece of jib covering that tonight as well. It's Wednesday. It's just gone four o'clock and I'm home a little bit earlier from work today because I had uh, meetings with the Sparky and the Plumber. I think I said that in the clip before. Um, but yeah, everything looks like it's totally possible and actually possible a lot sooner than we thought as well. Because I figured, seeing as I only contacted people recently, then we might have to like wait a month or so before we can actually like progress on the DIYs. But everyone thinks that we can kind of do it within the next couple of weeks, which is really exciting. So hopefully the next few vlogs, um, we actually see some really cool progress happening with our bathroom renovation. And other really exciting news, for me at least, probably not for you guys, but last night on Tuesday, we sent out our wedding invitations. So as I said, Charlie was building the website for us and we sent out physical save the dates, but we've decided to send out like an, an email that links to a web page uh, for like the actual invitation. So when people RSVP, they can fill out all their details and we already have it in like a digital format. Um, so yeah, we've started getting a few replies back already, which is super exciting. Everything's coming up aces right now. I'm in a really good mood. I think like this week, everything is progressing and everything is really good. Also, there is one more thing that is adding to this great week that I'm having so far. And that is on Friday, for me at least, uh, Wellington on a Plate Starch, which is like a local food festival here in the Wellington and the Wire Wrapper where a lot of restaurants put on specific menus or degustation meals and things like that. Um, and there's like a side section of Welly on a plate which is called Burger Wellington and all the local restaurants and stuff put on like a specific burger. Even like ice cream shops and stuff get involved and they have like a dessert burger. Uh, so it's on for two weeks. It starts on Friday. I'm super excited. I'm going to be eating a lot of burgers in the next span of two weeks but it's always a good time um so i'm really excited for that to start all of this burger eating whilst delicious definitely won't be good for my wedge shred my shredding for the wedding but let's be honest that isn't really happening anyway <laughs> Sunday.
Sunday today we have had such glorious weather all weekend. Uh, yesterday as you would have seen we went on a bit of a date night last night when we went and got one of the burgers um, from Burger Liquor and then we went and got a dessert burger and went to see Mission Impossible as well. This morning we have been out doing errands. We went to Bunnings and we bought the last things that we needed for the bathroom. I don't know if you can kind of see in the corner there where we bought a heck of a lot of compost because we're going to go into the garden right now and do some gardening. And then I also bought all of these plants. So in here we have a few vegetables, we've got some strawberries and then some kind of like little filler plants as well just to make the garden look a bit more full. Anyway, I think I'm actually going to end this video here because it's been a pretty long one, um, that's for sure, and there's been a lot going on. I will actually, just before I go, show you what the bathroom is looking like now. Okay, memory card was full, so I just had to change it. But what I was going to say was this is also the update on our bathroom. So I have ripped off, this is like the liner stuff on the floor, and it was over there as well, but I've ripped all off on the toilet side, and then I also just finished ripping off the jib around our mirror and the tiles and stuff that were here. So that's pretty much the only thing that has changed. We've got a Tyler coming tomorrow to give us a quote for the job um, and then hopefully we can actually like get started on the renovation. Thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoyed these weeks of renovation so hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching them as well. I hope you are all having a really good week when you are watching this and I'll see you all later on. Bye!